Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7. Uh, now I'm going to be doing this under a virtual PC, but the same would be as if you're actually installing it on your physical computer. So, uh, I already captured the CD image, the ISO, and if you're unsure of how to burn an ISO image, you can check out our other videos where we describe how you can burn an ISO image. So here we go, we're going to start up the virtual PC, then we're just going to hit any key, any key to boot from DVD, and so that'll pretty much just boot up the installer, and then we'll go from there. Uh, now during this tutorial, I'll also describe what the difference is between installing um, Windows clean or upgrading. So I'll go ahead and pause it during these uh, parts that take a really long time. Alright, so as you can see, the installer loaded up, and then we're already ready to start the installation process. So we're going to go ahead and click Install Now. Now it's going to load up the setup. This will take a little bit. I'm actually going to split this tutorial into two parts since it's going to take a little bit to go through the process of installing Windows 7. Alright, so setup loaded and then you're going to want to go ahead and read this page by page. Um, that'll take you about a couple of days. And then you're going to hit I accept. Well, you don't actually have to read this. So hit next. And this is what I was talking about. So an upgrade is where, say you have Windows Vista for some odd reason, or Windows XP. And so if you want to go straight to Windows 7, you could use this upgrade option. And keep in mind that you would still have to reinstall all your applications and um, it would back up all your files into a folder called windows.old somewhere on your uh, C or local disk and custom is when pretty much wipes the disk or deletes the partition map and then you reinstall over that which is what we're going to be doing today and that'll wipe everything off you'll start out fresh. I like to do that option whenever I'm working on my computer. So you'll go ahead and click custom and now you'll see you have two partitions and um, if you're doing any of this I I would recommend backing up all your files onto some sort of external drive, DVDs, floppy, or not floppy drives, um, uh, flash drives. That's what you'd want to do if you want to keep your information. So you might have these two partitions or you may just have one partition. You're going to want to go ahead and delete both of those. Make sure they're both on disk zero. Disk zero is your first hard drive in your computer. If you want to install to like disk one then you can go ahead and do that. But today uh, if everyone else is doing a simple installation process then it's probably going to be on disk zero. So you'll go ahead and delete both of these partitions and then the system reserved one. And after this, we'll just go ahead and click create new. And then when you select the up arrow, when it highlights that means it selected all the space available, go ahead and hit apply. And now it's going to create extra partitions so that it can function. So just hit OK and then let it create partitions and as you'll see you'll probably get um, system reserve alright so there you go you have system reserved and then your other partition with all your files on it system reserve just runs system um, just go ahead and click next now it's going to go through the whole process of copying the files, expanding files, and installing, completing. 
Uh, copying files should be a very quick process. It should go from about 0 to 100% in no time at all. And then expanding files is going to take a while. So I'll pause the video on expanding. Alright, there you go. That's how it was, 0 to 100%. Now it's expanding files. And uh, if you get any air, you might have burned it incorrectly and that can be a real pain but you should be fine if you just follow our other video on how to uh, burn an ISO image to a disk so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video and pick up when it's all done uh, with expanding files alright so as you can see it got past the expanding files the installing features and the installing updates those shouldn't take that long expanding files will take most time. Alright, now you can go ahead and click restart now or let it restart. And it should continue the installation from here on. And I'll probably pause it when it takes a little bit to start up again. So we can see our virtual computers restarting. You don't have to press any keys here. Just let it go. Now, you should get the awesome new loading bar which is really cool alright just giving us that cool load up now Alright, it's updating registry settings, and I'll go ahead and pause it here because it takes a little bit of time. Alright, so we're back in the installation, and we're just on completing installation. So, I'll just go ahead and pause it. Alright, now it'll give you, it's going to restart, and it should just restart for you, and you don't have to click any key. So it should load right up again, and we can continue the installation. Alright, load up there, and by this time you can eject the CD. So we're going to go ahead and release the CD.